thank you for joining us here. First episode of 2020, Tovala Meal Reviews. I'm Larry, your host for this evening or day, depending on what time you're watching. It's been a while since we've had a meal, but today we're gonna go with the chicken. Let me get this pronunciation right. Cazziatore. Again, some random Italian word that sounds absolutely fantastic. So I went ahead and added that to cart based off the name alone. It also had some polenta on there, which I'm gonna go ahead and say is vanilla people grits, maybe? That's what it looks like. Well, first things first, Tovala time. What'd you guys do with yours today? Looks like we had about roughly 18 minutes to do whatever while the meal was cooking. Today, got some reading in about the guy Andy Warhol. Good biography I was checking out. Right now I'm at the part where he's just now figuring out the Campbell suit can and just about to take off. What I didn't know though, excuse me, is that he was already kind of making a small fortune before he had the idea from a friend to go ahead and do the Campbell's painting before he wanted to cross over to fine art because he was being shunned as commercial art. Well, that's your Andy Warhol fun fact. Let's get to the shit, shall we? Pull up a chair here. Uh, let's dive right in. First look, Cacciatore looks pretty much just marinara based. However, I'm gonna get a nice little combo with the polenta and see what it does. Mmm. First impressions, it's marinara, but it's great so far. Here's the reason why. One, the polenta mixes fantastically with the chicken. It's almost like a nice, warm, fuzzy coat, perhaps. This isn't a coat, it's a vest, but you get my point. Let's get to these shrooms, really. I still, I know shrooms are great for you, but I still can't get over how they look. However, they do just take the flavor of everything else, so. Mm. Polenta, fantastic. One change I would make, though, Perhaps add some salt on there, or if y'all are big on cheese, throw some more cheese on there as well, because it is kind of plain Jane as it is. But that's probably why this cacciatore is so heavy in the sauce to make up for that. So make up your mind there. It might be something you look into, might not be. However, overall, if I had to give this a percent, let's give it one more, one more, you dig? I'm going in the 80s. Now, could just be it's been a while for me since I've had a Tovala meal, traveling for the holidays, but we back. However, it's a great meal to come back to. Feeling nice and warm inside, that's always good. Whew, take a deep breath. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this. Like I said, it's been great, recommended. It's the first time I've seen something like this on Tovala's menu, so they continue to iterate with all of these, um, the ethnic dishes, perhaps. Is this ethnic? I don't know. To somebody, it's ethnic. However, it's great. So I will check it out. It's not on par with their gnocchi if we're going in the Italian realm, but gnocchi polenta, I don't know if you could throw those in the same category, but as a side, gnocchi over polenta. Thanks for checking in. Appreciate y'all. Catch you next time. Cheese!